This is section 9.3, which is solving rational equations. When we're solving rational equations, um, the goal is to get our x by itself. Now, rational equations mean they have a denominator. There's a fraction involved. We don't like there to be a fraction because that makes things difficult for us to solve. So a fraction, remember, just means divide. So how can you undo dividing? So to get rid of that x plus 2, we'll multiply it out. And to multiply it out, we actually multiply it by every piece of the equation. So I know that looks kind of messy, and you don't have to do this every time. But I am going to show this to you as we're learning it. So again, we're multiplying every piece by x plus 2. Now, when I multiply 0 by x plus 2, I still get 0. The next part, we have x multiplied by x plus 2. The next part, something different is going to happen. Because I'm multiplying by x plus 2, and I'm dividing by x plus 2. So multiplying and dividing undo each other, which means they're going to cancel out. So all we're left with there is just plus 6 because the x plus 2 has been multiplied out. And then for the last part of the equation, we've got minus 5 times x plus 2. So now from here, the solving doesn't change. We're just going to multiply things out, combine like terms, and then factor. So we'll multiply the x into the x plus 2, and the minus 5 into the x plus 2. So here we'll get x times x is x squared plus 2x plus 6 minus 5x, minus 10. So again, just multiplying those values into the brackets. There should be then some like terms that you can combine. So the 2x and the 5x, when I put them together, we'll get minus 3x. And the 6 and the minus 10, when we put them together, we'll get minus 4. So from here, we have to factor. So we're looking for two numbers that add to get to negative 3 and two numbers that multiply to get to negative 4. So that should be negative 4 and positive 1, which means our factors here are x minus 4 and x plus 1, leaving us with two different answers, one of our answers being 4 and the other answer being negative 1. So for this problem, there are two solutions. Now the only other thing we need with this question is to figure out the non-permissible values. Non-permissible values means a number that's not allowed. And in fractions, what we're not allowed to do is divide by zero. So to find the non-permissible value, I take the denominator and set it equal to zero. Again, that's x plus 2 equals zero. If I move the 2 to the other side, that means that x equals negative 2. So my non-permissible value is that x cannot equal negative 2. If this were a graph, negative 2 would be an asymptote. It's a value you can't have. So again, you can't have negative 2 as one of our answers. Luckily for us, though, we don't. So my non-permissive value should help me check my question. So let's try our next example. Um, here we have in the denominator a 3 minus 2x. So again, we're going to multiply every part by 3 minus 2x including the x and the 1. So again, multiply each piece. Technically, this fraction here is only one piece. That's why I'm only multiplying that part once. Okay, now you should have that the denominator of 3 minus 2x will cancel with the multiplying that we put in. On the other side, though, there won't be anything that cancels. So we'll get x times 3 minus 2x minus 1 times 3 minus 2x equals x squared minus 3x minus 7. So from here, we'll just multiply everything out. So we'll get 3x minus 2x squared minus 3 plus 2x, and that's going to equal x squared minus 3x minus 7. So again, I'm just multiplying things out. Then we'll combine like terms. So when I combine like terms, I'm just going to try to move everything to one side at the same time. So I have 1x squared and 2x squared is 3x squared. A minus 3x minus 5x is minus 8x. And minus 7 plus 3 would be minus 4. 
So here's our quadratic. Now, this quadratic can't be factored. If a quadratic can't be factored, our other option is the quadratic formula. So to review the quadratic formula, we have our a, our b, and our c. And we're going to plug that in to the formula. And then when you finish the quadratic formula, you should come up with the answers of 3.1 and negative 0 0.43. Now we are almost finished. The only thing we need yet is our non-permissible values. So remember your non-permissible values is where your denominator is 0. And if we look back, our denominator was 3 minus 2x. So 3 minus 2x is what I set equal to 0. And I will move things around. So I'll subtract my 3 over, divide my negative 2, so we get negative 3 divided by negative 2 is 1.5. So my non-permissible value is that x can't equal 1.5. Do our answers equal 1.5? No, then they should be okay. So let's try an example here where there's two separate denominators. So if there's two separate denominators, we still multiply them out, but we have to multiply out both of them. So I'm going to multiply everything by x, and then I'm going to multiply everything by x plus 3. So I have to multiply by both of them. Now there will still be some things that cancel for us. So if I look here, I've got an x on the denominator and an x that I'm multiplying by. So the x's will cancel. On this last part, the x plus 3 and the x plus 3 will cancel. And since the first part doesn't have a denominator, nothing would cancel out of that one. So what we're left with here is 1x times x plus 3 plus 2 times x plus 3 equals x times x. So again, some things have cancelled with the denominators, but some things haven't when I multiply by both. So I'd like you to go through and finish this one on your own. Check your answers as you go. And then we're also going to complete the non-permissible values. This one, there are two denominators. So we have x, which cannot equal 0, but then there's also the denominator of x plus 3, which cannot equal 0, so I would subtract the 3 to the other side. So with this question, there would be two non-permissible values because there are two denominators. So for the assignment, let's just look at page 465, number 3 to 6 just A and C.